your eyes off this screen. Husuma Tokinho Pujares is taking on Gary, the Lion Killer Tone in our main event. Polaris 3, Josh Palmer, Tom Bolo, Nick Osipchak bringing you all the action here from Poole on the south coast of the UK. We are underway. Husuma taking it old school with the top off. Two of the best leg lockers in the game. Gary Tonin immediately shooting in. Diving on a toe hold. Is Tokinho? I mean, look, one of these guys is going to finish quick. Gary Tonin jumping straight into the leg locks. Tokinho with the big size advantage. He's looking for the toe hold here. Tonin spins out. Tonin sitting to the saddle position, getting the hit there, Beautiful both training heel hooks here. Tonin pretty much had inverted heel hook there. Okay, guys, time, 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 time. Well, we wondered how this was going to go, with Tokinho going to come out and be the aggressor. Gary Tonin is taking this fight to Husuma Poharis right now. Well, I think early on, uh, Gary's best chance of victory here, when they're still dry. Yeah, a lot of people wondered, would Gary Tonin try and drag this deep? You can see he's looking to set up the leg attack straight away. Stepping all the way over. Polhar well, Gary Tonin stone-faced in his defense. Some deep breaths as Polharis looks to crank on that leg. Very controversial figure, needing no introduction. Husama Polharis. Gary Tonin asking for this match, wanting to show that he can tangle with the most dangerous guys in the game. It's a bold move. He knew the risks involved here. It could be career changing. Uh, You've got to respect that. Yeah, he was very open. He, you know, he posted a video uh, late last night basically saying, you know, I'm very aware that this is one of those guys who can genuinely cause you physical injury. Arm drag onto the leg from Palharis. Tonin retaining his base. That's the power there of the little tree stomp. Tokino just. Five foot eight, but packing a huge amount of muscle onto that frame. Tonin giving up a fair few pounds in this one, unlike his last match against Mazakazu Imanari, where he was the larger fighter. He's in on the heel hook again. Palahar is rolling about to come off the mat here. <laughs> well, the referee has done the right thing there in having to save the position. Unfortunate for Gary Tonin, because they found the edge of the mat, but he looked as though he was uh, deep in on that leg. I'll tell you what's interesting, guys. Gary Tonin Go. stopped as soon as they said stop. But would it have been the same if it was the other way around? Well, we shall see, as we said, a fair bit of controversy surrounding Husama Palharis. But he's been nothing but a gentleman so far here at Polaris throughout the, uh, the early days this week. And then the way in shocking to go to the back. You pick up. Oh, very nice that. I'm pretty sure that's an illegal move here at Polaris. It's not at all. It's a legal takedown. You can raise with as much amplitude as you want. It's only in the, the purpose of defending a submission or picking someone up off the mat. And Tokinho, of course, we saw at ADCC, he became an instant crowd favorite. I mean, not just for the aggressive takedowns, the huge heel hooks, but just the, the enjoyment he seemed to bring with the, the manly back, back slaps afterwards. Yeah, absolutely. His, his uh, post-victory hug or loss hug was just amazing. You know, to everybody, even the guys that had wrecked. <laughs> oh, I loved it. That made uh, ADCC 2011 for me. Tonin looking to snap the head down here. Going to play a bit of butterfly guard. Oh, and Tonin saw the triangle. Very nice. This could be a slam off it. Oh, and Tonin, Tonin not taking any chances. He let that triangle go. He didn't want to get Ricardo Arona. Very sensible <laughs> move. Obviously, uh, a great, uh, a pretty good wrestling pedigree for Gary Tonin. He puts it to, uh, to great use in many of his matches. Tries the flying scissor leg entry. Again, butterfly guard here. You know, Gary Tonin's been putting a lot of stuff out on social media over the past uh, few weeks and months leading up to this fight. I think just, uh, you know, keeping himself amused. He said it, it's been a tough training camp, you know. He's really put the time in knowing uh, what's on the line in this match here tonight? Yeah, when you're throwing an opponent like um, Takino, you've got to put the time in. You don't want to go into this without training fully. Oh, he's looking for the toehold here. Tonin uh, defends. You know, a lot of people wondering, would the, would the technique of Tonin outdo this, the perhaps slightly wild, aggressive nature of Takino? That seemed to be the narrative that a lot of people were leaning towards in the, this pre-match discussion. 
Palahara is a country boy and he's just got that farm, farmer strength, you know. He just looks incredibly powerful all over muscles on muscles. Yeah, I, I can't imagine if he stands up with a high crotch and just flipping Gary Tonin over. Effortlessly. He's the heavy of the two men here tonight, but that was ridiculous power. Tonin searching on the leg again. Palharis turns, looks to clear that knee line. See, he's pushing Tonin's leg away. Yeah, both guys are doing a fantastic job of uh, defending these leg lock attacks. Yeah, it's the follow-up transitions that you you know are really starting to become the next the next level here. What do you do after they turn and, and, and clear the knee? And you can see Tonin rolling with it, trying to maintain this position. They're right below our commentary position here, and what a corner Gary Tonin has looking on. Eddie Cummings, ADCC and UFC vet Tom De Blas, and John Danaher, all there. I don't know, you can, to cheer you him on. Sit down or stand? The Danaher Death Squad, they call yes. them. Sit down. They are really on a okay, mission to good. show the next level of leg locking yeah. in Jiu Jitsu. Okay. Eddie Cummings wasn't able yes. Ready? Yes. to get that submission he so desperately wanted against Augusto Tanquino Mendez earlier. And Gary Tonin is doing his best here against Husama Palhares. Palhares is on a four fight winning streak in his MMA career since dropping, dropping down to 170 pounds. So his confidence will be high coming into tonight's matchup. And it's interesting, a lot of people said that, you know, the threat wasn't just the legs with Husama Palhares. It's if he locks up something like a figure four grip or Kimura grip, he's such a strong control point with a, a guy with that level of physicality. Yeah, he's even done it with chokes as well. In the, uh, he did it once with a, he held on one, one of those. Now he's got a, a full range of attacks. He's just best known for his uh, leg lock entries and his uh, heel hooks. Yeah, 18 and six. An MMA record for Paul Harris. 15 of those by submission, 11 of those coming by way of footlock. And it's Gary Tonin searching for more of the leg lock too. He tries to get on the back. Paul Harris is going to try and scrape him off here, looking for the Kimura. Wow, he is out hustling him here. I think Paul Harris got a little bit complacent there. Tonin snatched the opportunity and took his back. Well, Gary Tonin coming so close. I mean, you know, before he got into all the leg locks, you know, the lion killer, Matt De Leon, he, he is known for uh, for getting dynamically to his opponent's back and getting that rear naked choke. It, you know, it wasn't really until the last couple of years he started getting known for these these leg entries. And he's got to be careful that Polaris doesn't stand up on that high crotch or that single leg again. He's kind of freely giving him control in that standing position. This is the longest Tonin's been on the mat in a Polaris, sorry, a Polaris event. Heel hook, you, three minutes 30 in Polaris one, oh. and just under two minutes, heel hook, Polaris two. It's okay, Nick, we understand the tongue twist there. Polaris at Polaris. Polaris are putting on the match with Polaris versus Gary Tonin. Has a nice ring to it. Is Tokino gonna come up to the back here? Is he gonna try and take that single leg? Grip fighting for Gary Tonin here. Tonin's got to watch out, he doesn't give up another oh. slam. Oh, and he rolls through. Is he gonna get the knee bar entry here? Very nice attack. Big bite. Takino looks to kick free. He's oh, he's got the deep. Uh, Takino is pain. definitely in pain a here. Lot of pain. That was so deep, and you've got to wonder was there some damage? He didn't tap, but that was undoubtedly excruciating for Husama Palharis. He might go for a ride again here on oh, no. a very sensible move from Gary. Just yeah, sitting I down. I mean, you know, something like that happens, you're either going to think that he's going to get ultra physical and try and really plant you through the mat, or, you know, he's going to be a little bit wary now and know that those entries are there, because, you know, let's be honest, that was phenomenally tight. Yeah, Tony's really been bringing it to Pilharos. Okay, he's been um, really aggressively attacking the legs, probably more so than um, Pilharos has. I mean, it's been one of those, one of those uh, sayings for a long time, you know, the best way to defend a leg lock is to really attack your opponent, and if you're the aggressor and you put them on the back foot, sooner or later, you, you can only defend leg locks so yeah, long. absolutely. You know, and as, as things get slippier, as the, as the match wears on, that, that better technique of, of Tonin might start to come into play. Yeah, we're nine minutes in now, and uh, Tonin looking to be a little bit more open with his guard here. We're going to go searching inside from that butterfly guard, see if he can shoot a leg through. Yes. Oh, he shoots the triangle. The triangle attack. <laughs> Unceremoniously uh, yeah. stacked out by Polharis. Polharis just uh, powers through it. Well, exactly with the top off a sweat on the sweat and his physique and build, he's just designed to power out of those. I 
I'm so loving a variety oh, of attacks on display in this match. I was going to say, Tonin's got that Kimura in his wheelhouse as well. Do, do you expect him to lock up a Kimura and throw himself in an awkward position to try and uh, put that grip to use? Ten minutes down, five minutes through again. Gary Tonin dumped to his back by Husama Polaris. Hashtag Polaris3 on all social media. Get involved. Let us know what you think of this fantastic matchup. Or indeed, uh, AJ Shields. I did it again. There we go. AJ Agazam versus Jake Shields that took, took uh, place a few moments ago. Tonin's been looking for that same attack uh, a number of times, um, trying to set up that scissor takedown and then and switch the heel hook. Yeah, big arm drag perhaps for Gary Tonin here. He's got that grip on the tricep and the wrist. It's interesting how he just gives that leg and just plants it in the middle, looking perhaps for the guillotine now. Oh, he's got a bite on the neck. He could be on the uh, head and arm anaconda variation here. Very strong guillotine as well for Tonin. We saw him submit Kit Dale with that one. He's got some very nice setups. Looks like Pilaris is getting a little tired as well. Yeah, and Gary Tonin with side control. A bit of north-south, but side control now. Yeah, looks like he's setting up an arm bar possibly here. Usama might be slowing down a little at this stage. Yeah, there's big power techniques, the big slams, things take it out of you. Yeah, they look awesome, but uh, you know, if you don't, don't make them pay. And Tonin crawling to mount here. Really uh, being like a backpack. Again, he's looking for that head and arm choke, but Palhares has recovered. See what Palhares does here. If he's got any gas left in the tank, good knee tap for him. Crawling towards Tonin now, definitely. This match starting to take a toll on both of them. Sounds like Tony in this corner are calling for a high elbow guillotine, or oh, Marcelo Tin as it's also known. So maybe he's coming up, he's setting, uh, faking with the leg lock attacks and then gonna switch to that. Deep breaths from Gary Tony. We've got three minutes left in this one. The last three minutes of Polaris number three. Come on, come on, come on. You have a fit. You had a fit here, this year. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So Gary Tonin just uh, ensuring the position was the same. Wants those feet on the hips, wants to be active and make sure they can maintain that distance for him. Collar tie for Paul Harris. Oh, Tonin trying to elevate in that butterfly guard position. Oh, he's sneaking around towards the back maybe again. Yeah, Paul Harris tried to backstep oh, Tonin. Nice. He's on the back. Very nice. This is going to completely neutralize the Polaris' power as well. He can't power out of this in the same way he has been for other things. Yeah, can he maintain control though? A very slippery Usama Polaris at the best of times, let alone after 13 minutes of back and forth action here. Polaris might decide just to spin 180 really explosively. Tony could be going for a twister here. Yeah, it really could be. Ripper. Either of those things could happen. Big leg entanglement for Gary Tonin. He's really tied up those legs well. See if he finds his way to the back again. There is a twister There here. is a twister there. There really is. He's oh, going he... back to the back. I think yeah. that's a better option for him if he can maintain this position. Oh, and he oh. tried to transition to the armbar. Just slipped off there. That sweat playing a big factor, I think. A lot of people were saying, you know, Gary Tonin, if he drags this deep, he can probably get on the back of, of Paul Harris and He's done that twice, not able to make it pay. Not for lack of trying, though. You get the feeling the crowd are behind Gary Tonin here, the underdog, perhaps. Back in the neck. Final minute now. Who's got the gas tank to really push? To re yeah. Oh, flying triangle attempt. Polaris does look very, very tired now. He's just letting Tonin attack and then yeah, trying to explode is, out of these things. We're going to see a Kimura. There we go. Gary's got to keep working. He, he can really push the pace here. It's only one more minute. It's just amazing confidence from Gary Tonin in these positions. He's looking. Ah, guillotine again. Oh, elevating and getting in on the legs again. Can he maintain control? We're into the last 35 seconds. Tonin is going after these legs with everything he has got. Crawling forward in this top position now. It's just attacking him. Very relentless attacks from Tonin. That's it, just... A whirlwind of action. He's coming to phenomenal shape for tonight's bout. 
Oh, he's got another Deep bite, on slips that out. Time, guys. We are in the closing seconds. Is Gary Tonin going to get one more attack off? Polaris in top position here. Our main event goes the distance. Gary Tonin and Husama Tokinia Polaris. What a match. Go get yourself a hug, Josh. Oh, yeah, I want a, I want a hug from this guy. The crowd are on their feet here, Tom. Look how much they appreciate that battle. Yeah, Two that warriors. Was... Great skill on display, great heart on display. What yeah. an awesome night yeah. it's been. Excellent display of jiu-jitsu in that last match. Really, really good. Very high level from both guys. And the crowd are really appreciating it. There must have been three, four big slams. Gary Tonin took him like a champ, and he did not stop attacking right up to the bell. Sorry, just one second, guys. I'm just waiting for Here's somebody action. Okay, yeah, both guys started attacking early with the heel hooks, as we expected, um, and, and had some decent success. Tonin probably had the closest attack. He was really saw the pain on his face, but Polaris with these slams was, uh, you know, serious power in that guy. And Come. some really good triangle attacks as well from, uh, from Tonin, but Polaris can just use that size and that strength to, to power out of them. Yeah, that power moves kind of took its toll in the end. He started to fatigue. Gary just didn't let up on his pace. Yeah, Gary was very relentless with those attacks and got to some great positions. Almost had the, well, had the back definitely for once, nearly had it here again. You know, a lot of variety. So let's go to David Anuma to make this official. With my phone. <laughs> Are we ready? Okay, guys. I'm here with Husama Poharis and his translator. Husama, thank you for an amazing match. Was he surprised that Gary came out and immediately started attacking his legs? Que você tá surpresa? Você ficou surpresa com com a luta do Gary dele defender suas chaves e? Eu tava só tentando me adaptar ao jogo dele, né? Mas ele conseguiu sair muito bem, não desmerecendo ninguém, sabe? Mas só que Devido à pressão que estava em cima de mim, eu acho que eu me travei um pouco, porque essa luta eu precisava recomeçar, entendeu? Para mim ela foi um recomeço, porque várias coisas aconteceram no passado, mas ele está de, de parabéns, não querendo desmerecer, ele fez um grande trabalho, né? Mas eu estava um pouco pressionado e não consegui me soltar, soltar tudo. So, Gary is a tough guy, congratulations. Uh, you know, this fight for me is so important because I restart my career. I changed my mindset now, and but not say to the guy. It's uh, the guy is just so good jiu-jitsu and congratulations. But I will come back, and I know I will come back better. Ladies and gentlemen, Husama Tokinio Pajares. <laughs> Please don't. Uh, Gary, you came out, you took the match to him, you went after the legs, you went after the neck. Give us your thoughts on, on that encounter. Yeah, guys, uh, I mean, I knew it was going to be very difficult. Uh, you know, I, I'm never, you know, very happy uh, after I don't get a submission, but, uh, you know, I do have to say that, uh, you know, it was just an amazing experience preparing for this match. Uh, it's made an experience competing for this organization yet again for a third time. I uh, hope you have me back, even if I didn't submit the guy this time. But, uh, guys, uh, you know, uh, I released a video yesterday saying this as well, but 
you know, we, we did a lot of promotional stuff leading up to this event, but honestly, respect to, uh, you know, my competitor, he, uh, he's, he's, he's a legend, you know, he's been doing this a lot longer than me, and he's accomplished a lot more, and, you know, I hope to be all that he could be a better someday, and I uh, appreciate the fact that he took the match with me, he didn't have to take it either. Uh, you know, so, you know, thanks so much to everybody. And thanks to all my team for coming out here and uh, training me, supporting me. And thanks again, guys. You, Gary, last night you, you released a few thoughts on your match and you said, you know what, I'm very aware this is a guy who can really cause some damage. Yeah. What did oh. you have to do mindset-wise to, to get yourself in the right place first, for this one? First of all, I do want to say, you know, uh, you know, I saw, you know, Paul Harris was saying some things like he was going to try to turn over a new leaf and stuff. And guys, honestly, the, the match tonight, I, I don't think there was anything on either end that was disrespectful in any way. You know, I think everything was clean. You know, it was a, an amazing fight. You know, I don't have anything negative to say about that. Uh, so th thank you so much for that. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I changed my mindset a lot. I was, be I was being prepared for anything, you know, but uh, I really do believe that he did turn over a new leaf. The guy is, uh, you know, super respectful, super nice guy. Uh, when I got to meet him and uh, during the match and everything, so I would have liked to beat him, but you know, thanks. You, you've been pushing really hard in all your competitions. What's next for you? Uh, next, for, uh, well, I have EBI six coming up. A uh, bunch of another big bunch of big guys, so it's helped prepare me for that. Uh, and who knows, you know, whatever uh, offers are on the table, I'm probably going to try to take them. And you know, we're working on some MMA stuff too, and we'll see what happens with that. And I'm just excited for my future, man. You know, I got a great team behind me, a great support system, and uh, great events like this to compete for. So uh, it looks like a bright future to me. Been a pleasure having you back for the third time. Ladies and gentlemen, Gary the Lion Killer Tonan!